Florida had its deadliest day in the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. 132 new deaths were reported today. That is the highest in a single day. That brings the statewide death total to 4,409. There are also 9,194 new cases statewide tonight. And we are learning more children under the age of 14 are testing positive in Hillsborough County. Eight on your side's Ryan Hughes is joining us live in downtown Tampa with more on that. Ryan, tell us more about this trend. Well, the pediatrician I spoke to said cases were bound to go up, and that's what we're seeing right now as schools are set to reopen in roughly one month. Data from the Florida Department of Health in Hillsborough County shows coronavirus case increases in some age groups, perhaps the most notable under 14 years old. Seven day average percentages went up from 5.53% to 6.99% from the end of June to this past weekend. I spoke to Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joseph Perno from Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. We know that children aren't just the most hygienic, yeah. for lack of a better term, and that's why it can spread. Then you throw in the fact that kids, even more so than adults, are crammed into tight spaces together, whether it's a daycare setting or school setting. There's a lot of people in a close proximity, and we know that viruses love that. He notes that cases in kids were bound to go up as they have overall in the Bay Area. There's a factor that causes concern among pediatricians that seems common in childhood coronavirus cases. And we've seen across the country where children who get exposed to coronavirus, anywhere from two to six weeks later, can get a overwhelming inflammatory reaction and get mm -hmm. quite sick from that. As with adults, kids should also follow the rules to stay healthy. I think it, it stresses the need for all the things that we've been saying since the beginning, which I know sounds like a broken record, but wearing a mask, washing your hands, avoiding crowded spaces, social distancing. I think now more than ever, um, it's important for us. Tampa parents are concerned and split on if school should start, considering cases are jumping. It concerns me because the youth is around everyone. They, they mix in with everyone. They need to learn and go socialize and be at school with their friends. And so I think those are, that's self-evident, you know, why school is good for them as opposed to sitting home all the time. And a school district spokeswoman said the district will unveil a plan on Thursday when it comes to keeping kids safe. We're live in downtown Tampa. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.